Greetings, YouTube. I want to take a few minutes of your time today to discuss an issue that Kabam has done some progress with, but there is still a long way to go. And this is an issue near and dear to my heart because, of course, I grind in the arena every day. But most importantly, unlike myself, who normally in the five-star featured arena just grinds over the course of about two days in my spare time enough points for all of the 12 million plus milestone rewards of the five-star featured arena, several people do not cheat and they commit thousands of units and so many hours over the course of about three days to grinding to be in that top 150 of the five-star featured arena. That's not to say that there isn't uh, a huge amount of goals in the four-star featured or the four-star basic arena. Obviously, that's the case too. Even the three-star featured, especially for new champions, have an intense amount of grinding, but I think it's fair to say the top prize in the arena right now is the five-star featured uh, champion, especially because besides quote-unquote wailing out for Grandmaster Featured Crystals, the only shot you have as a free-to-play player who does not have a lot of disposable income, if any, since you are a free-to-play player, is to grind for the champion in the arena. So, needless to say, it hurts the community when you have cheaters that inflate the scores. They artificially inflate the scores of the arena, and for a long time, Kabam did nothing about this because, quite frankly, it benefited them to ignore it because the more that scores were driven up by bots or cheaters or whatever, the harder it was for the average person to go without spending money and or their unit supply on refreshes in order to keep up unless you somehow had I don't know, three days off of work and you could grind 24-7 and not care much about sleep, which given quite a few people have done. But in a perfect world, you would not have to give up, I don't know, 60 to 70 hours of, uh, of your life in a given three-day span to pull a five-star champion in the featured arena. So the good news is when Kabam does these sort of every once in a while, maybe every three months or so, ban waves of... Uh, cheaters that get caught using bots in the arena, the scores go way down, and that gives YouTubers like myself an excited bit of energy to talk to the community about what the real arena scores should be on a given basis. We even saw some historically no low numbers, like in the first round of the Havoc Arena, shortly after the bans happened, where we had about a 20 million point score to get in that top 150, which was amazing. Compare that to the first round of Mr. Sinister with scores around 60 plus million. So needless to say, it helps the community when Kabam is all about stopping the arena cheaters. And they have told us that they have improved their mechanics and their algorithms and their detection software to catch cheaters in real time. But I think this post on Reddit from i.red.it of r slash contest of champions forum from u slash mcoc2fun. Uh, I don't know if one of the logins was that or if all of that is. I'm still kind of unfamiliar with Reddit logins. Sometimes there's a title and sometimes there's not. Regardless of who posted this, it is great information for the community because as you can see, in multiple screenshots, we have the top three accounts of the latest five-star Captain Marvel Arena, the featured five-star arena that ended on Sunday. And you can see Summoner level 44, top champ, a five-star Colossus. Now, there's two normal ways to see that cheaters are using some illegal software to spam their scores. The first is in the top right screen, you can see for this account that the top champion is a five-star unawakened colossus if that doesn't uh give you a red flag and a cause for pause and no alliance right when you check out an account i don't know what will but the most obvious cheating error on this account because apparently this account has been able to cheat in multiple aspects of the content without getting banned which is always very frustrating to see is that they have the labyrinth of legends five-star ultron and just for good measure it's even awakened 
as their second top champion, rank 1-5, uh, 125, with just under 3,000 PI as their second highest champion. Now, of course, you can only get this 5-star Ultron if you have 100% completed Labyrinth of Legends, which for any non-cheater would not only take thousands of units, but it would take a really great Labyrinth of Legends clearing champion, like, say, a High Sig Awakened Aegon or High Sig Awakened Star-Lord, Stark Spidey, Blade, etc., uh, my guess is that this account that somehow just put up a top score, in fact, this is the number two account, the silver rating of the leaderboard of this arena, did uh, did not use that five-star Colossus to clear Labyrinth of Legends. If they did, they should send me the video because that would be one of the most incredible videos ever. But no, they used some kind of cheating software, got away with it, and then used that same software to uh, artificially influence the Captain Marvel five-star arena by dri driving up the scores and unfairly getting second place. It's kind of amazing to me. I don't really know if I fully understand how bots work. I thought I did. Like, I thought you could just have some system keep doing the same arena fights over and over again for three days straight, but I imagine that those were using six stars, and I only see five stars in this account. So if you're just spamming the same... Colossus and uh, Ultron and King Groot arena teams over and over again with less than 3,000 PI. Man, that's crazy. And getting the second highest score. We're talking, they probably got well over 90 to 100 million points in the five-star featured arena with just their five-star teams over the course of three days. I, I just don't know how that's possible. I am unknowledgeable in terms of cheating, and honestly, I kind of prefer to keep it that way, though in this case, it's important to argue. You also see a couple more screenshots. At least the one in the bottom left has an Awakened 5-Star Symbiote Supreme, but hey, you still got that Labyrinth of Legends Ultron Awakened to clue you off of the fact that this is most likely a bot, and unlike the first one, we see they're in a Silver 2 Alliance, so... Uh, not sure if anybody from that alliance is looking at this video, but uh, you might need to warn your, uh, your members that you could have a cheater in your midst and you don't want to lose precious points in Alliance War because you're in Silver 2, you don't want to be dropped. So I would, have, I would boot this person pretty, pretty much immediately. And the same for the right side. We have got another Season 8 Silver 2 uh, alliance member with a 5-star blade. And then a five-star uh, Sentinel, five-star Venom the Duck, and an Awakened five-star Iceman. Now, in terms of, like, suspicion, at least this bottom right account doesn't have the same red flag of the Labyrinth of Legends Awakened Ultron that the others two do. So maybe, just maybe, being as objective as possible and not trying to jump to conclusions and be unethical, maybe somehow the bottom right one just used a bunch of units and got... The champion, but probably not. Uh, those who are used to training themselves on spotting these cheaters know a cheating account when they see one. Like I said, the Labyrinth of Legends Ultron normally tips you off. And so we have seen uh, several comments from people on this thread who are just trying to make sure that Kabam is well aware of the fact that their detection system is not working to the point that. Uh, you know, routinely, like if I'm one of these cheaters, right, and what generally happens, at least from the comments that I've read on these forum posts, is that a cheater will build up an account, they'll get the new champions, and then they'll sell that account for a nice profit. And so they have no stake in ranking these champions up. All they want to do is load the account with the best champions possible and then sell it for the highest profit possible. Makes sense. Maybe it's a good business market. I don't know, but I don't care. What I care about is that the people who don't cheat in the arena and grind legally aren't hurt by artificially inflated scores that really have no place in this community, especially when Kabam is committing to changing it. So Kabam, there are a lot of, of course, things to discuss continually with the pushback from all your announcements of Act 6 with the gifting badge issue, etc., but this arena issue cannot be swept under the rug. It would be very dishonest for me to ignore this as a content creator for this community. I want to make sure that they don't just do band waves every three months. Ideally, they should do them at least every week. And oh, hey, here's an idea. If you catch somebody, Kabam, that has clearly, without a shadow of a doubt, 
used bots or any other cheating means in the arena to inflate scores, don't just give them a 72-hour ban. Ban them permanently because just like a cockroach, they cannot die and they will keep coming back. And trust me, I live in Oklahoma. I know something or two about terrible, never going to kill cockroaches. So these cockroaches of the MCOC community that keep hurting everybody who is grinding, especially in the featured arenas legally, they need to be stopped. They need to be permanently banned. And we need to fix this because the health of the community, especially the future of five stars, which after all the Act 6 announcements, at least the paths you can take them into, have never been more important. It is vital that Kabam makes a commitment weekly to making sure that arena scores are honest so that we get as many people as possible a fair shot at the champion they're grinding for. Because let's be real, there are over 100 champions in five-star basic crystal now. The chance of getting that targeted champion you're looking at is one and almost never going to happen. So the arena is your best chance to guarantee your shot at that champion, and we want as honest scores as possible. So please spread the word. Kabam, pay attention. Do your software kicks more than just every couple of months. Make it permanent bans. And as always, thank you for watching and supporting my Marvel Contest of Champions YouTube channel.